somehow, some way, the number 15 seed St. Peter's Peacocks are advancing to the Elite Eight. The lowest seed to ever advance to an Elite Eight in an NCAA tournament. They are continuing their Cinderella run. Now, if I were any other random college basketball fan, I might think it was cool. I might think it was interesting. But as a Purdue Boilermaker fan, as the team who lost to them today, I'm fucking pissed and I hope that St. Peter's immediately loses. I want them to lose. I will be rooting firmly against them. I don't want a Cinderella story. I want their time in the tournament to end. But that doesn't change what happened today, which was they ruined one of Purdue's best chances probably to make a run for a national title that they've had in a few years and likely will have for some years to come. But you can see 67 to 64. The game was close. The the entire game was close. And St. Peter's, they uh, like so many of these teams who end up with these Cinderella stories, they play hard. They press the entire night. They force Purdue into so many stupid turnovers. I think Purdue had 15 turnovers on the night. They normally average probably about 10 a game, somewhere around there. And so Purdue turned the ball over a lot. There were a couple big moments that things just happened the right way and St. Peter's, you know, continued to kind of find the luck each and every time. That's how a lot of these things go. So as things stand, St. Peter's is in the Elite Eight. And when we look here at the bracket, you know, after after losing there, they will play, I believe on Sunday, they'll play the winner of North Carolina and UCLA. This tournament has been nuts. As you can see, Kansas is the only one, the only team who's still the number one seed that is actually still alive. Baylor was beaten. Gonzaga was beaten. Arizona was beaten. Two of them fell on the same night. The top two seeds in the tournament, Gonzaga, Arizona, both go down on the same night. Didn't even make it to the Elite Eight. But you can't deny that it has been entertaining, that it has been very interesting. And a lot of people did react to this, a lot of athletes. There's John Morant, St. Peter's. Uh, There's UMBC with the, you drop this king. Cody Zeller, uh, someone who went to IU, very happy that Purdue Boilermakers are out of the tournament now. Uh, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, congrats on the Elite Eight. Coach Shaw, a lot of people are getting very attached to the coach. I think he's an activist, but I haven't looked too much into it yet, so I'm sure I'll update you soon because now I fucking hate this team. Now that they beat the Purdue Boilermakers, I may be, other than all other Purdue fans and Kentucky fans, other teams that they beat, uh, unlike everyone else who's rooting for this underdog, I want them to get fucking destroyed. You got Pat Connaughton here, Jason Thompson, Loyola. Everybody remembers Loyola's run that they put on. Uh, We see you at Peacock's. Evan Turner is Doug Eddard on any draft boards. I do not believe so. And do the Peacock strut. So many people loving the madness that's currently happening in March, with the exception of myself. What do you guys think about this? What do you think of the tournament as a whole? I haven't talked about it a ton on here because there's just so many games going on every single time. But uh, this was the game I was really worried about, and I thought Purdue was going to pull through, and they didn't manage it. They played sloppy, and St. Peter's played with a ton of heart. And unfortunately, my Purdue Boilermakers going home. The St. Peter's Peacocks are advancing to the Elite Eight, the first number 15 seed to ever do so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.